Ranking shows are always fun. You can rest assured that when we're talking prospects, Rasmus Dahlin will come up because so many people are so high on him. Without revealing, as we look forward to no Friday reveals. night, no not reveals. revealing any rankings, if there's a particular team that comes to mind, that intrigues you, okay. which one? There's a lot of good ones. There's a lot of teams to consider. I, I think for me, the one would be the Islanders because of all the things that have happened with the Islanders, Lou Lamarillo coming in, John Tavares departing there, and then they go to the draft and they end up with back-to-back first-round picks and they get some really talented players. Mm -hmm. Oliver Wallstrom is a high-end goal scorer. He's going to be someone that can score. I mean, he may be a 40-goal scorer, 40-plus goal scorer in this league for many years to come. Headed off to college this year, but I don't think it'll be too long before we see him with the New York Islanders. And then Noah Dobson, who dropped? I mean, he could have been someone that had been could have picked third, fourth, fifth in the draft. Right shot defenseman, really impressed at the Memorial Cup. So you think about those two kids coming into a group that already has someone like a Bodie Wild, who's an impressive prospect, a Kiefer Bellows, another impressive prospect in that group. They've got a lot of good young players there. I'll be very interested to see with Lou coming in and and new coaching with Barry Trotz how that all plays out, but there's some talented players within their organization. That's music to the ears of Islanders fans. And you mentioned Lou Lamarillo. We are going to be joined by Ken Holland. When we think about some of the best finds in the history of the draft, when you get deeper and later into the rounds, that's going to be something we talk to him about. No question about it. You think about getting a, a Henrik Zetterberg and a Pavel Dotsuk with mm. late picks. I mean, the world is different now. It's hard. Those guys are harder to unearth, but... They were guys that were picked by the Red Wings because the Red Wings had a philosophy of skill players. And when those guys' names came up later in the draft, they opted for the skill guy. They turned into really high-end players and were good for them for more than a decade. Cups, what a special yeah. run that franchise has had thanks to those great draft picks. We're looking forward to it 7 Eastern Friday night. Tune in.